Uh, uh, open discussion, let's bring it straight to the table. This the EBL experience where we talk about the realest shit. Everybody feeling it, just go pick the top. Alright. Nigga think so finished. Uh, <laughs> 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 I just been I just been up on my uh, I guess what's going on in Ukraine. Y'all been following that? Something. Not at all. You been following somewhere, that? Somewhat, somewhat. So what you know about it? Like what as far as like the uh who's winning? Let me ask you. I can tell you like this, I'm surprised that the war is still going on. Right. I, I thought Russia would have I mean it I feel like Russia should concede at this point. If they ain't win yet, just concede. But it's yeah. but it's they they not because <laughs> he can't concede. Yeah. When you concede over there, they, they murder you. I think Yikes. I think it's I think it's life or death for um Vlad, Yikes, Vladimir nigga. Putin. I think this is life or death. Well, Damn. I don't think he just get to like, oh, you lose your presidential job or anything, you go home or whatever, and they just be like, yeah, shame on you for the rest of history. No, <laughs> nah. I think they kill your ass. I think if he could see, so they'll they'll kill him. But it, it, it's, it's gonna show the world that nigga, y'all be roofing all this long about all this shit y'all got. But y'all can't beat little Ukraine. You think you could beat a powerhouse like the United States, nigga? Nigga, please. right. So that's the so crazy part. So it's, uh, it, it's just like, uh, hold on. It's just like the United States and going to Vietnam. We thought we were going to just smash Vietnam. And Vietnam, it was what, one of the most bloodiest wars ever. And we were getting our ass whooped. We did not win that shit. We said, okay, y'all could do y'all thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we said. <laughs> And on a side note, the, see the thing about that, you know, China came right after the United States and tried to do the same thing, and Vietnam bust their ass too and sent them <laughs> on the, the same day too. But that was just a little little side note. But okay, so yeah, right, you're right. You know, uh, the Ukraine is putting up a fight, but not only are they putting up a fight, they are like winning. From now, this is Western propaganda, mm-hmm. so th- I, I'm just telling y'all what they telling me because a lot of people in the United States not really following it like when it first came out everybody was like oh World War 3 Russia's you know mm-hmm. now we about to go to war now we just like that shit that shit probably at that time when they first uh, attacked Ukraine that shit was probably on our mind probably like at least once a day twice a day right. now that shit never crossed our mind it don't cross mine but when it happened you thought about it a lot right like when it first happened you were like, I mean oh, shit. I, I kept up with it a little bit right but mm-hmm. that's only because it was coming through my news feed like that you know right. what I'm saying but now that it's been so long yes so man, when you say news t- feed like you mean like Facebook, like Facebook or, well you know any type of social media or whatever you know but that's one of the reasons why our groceries high right now because of that shit right so boy, y'all seen the price of eggs? I'm sure. sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Eggs outrageous right now, boy. Oh, I still gotta have my eggs though, baby. <laughs> the, them <laughs> eggs was like four ninety nine. Yeah. Five like, twenty. I was like, Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. So I'm about, yeah. I'm about to get all the eggs in a second. But <laughs> nah, go ahead, yeah. go ahead T. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the that's the thing. Little Ukraine is putting up a fight and they like are uh, really it's, it's, it's fucking up Prudence plan For what he had to go on Cause this was supposed to be A quick one two Boom We are now in control of Ukraine mm-hmm. So um, See Western propaganda Will have you believe that He That Putin attacked Because of Nazis In The Ukraine mm-hmm. And they said You know they were uh, Trying to purge the Ukraine of Nazis And things like that Me I don't really think That's true So it turns out From my research That Apparently Ukraine Dammed off a canal mm-hmm. That Sent water to a, a country Below Ukraine I think it's maybe Crimea Or something like that Or Something like that Wait, they, what it is? Crimea is a country. No, not the country. What you were saying initially? They dammed off a canal. Oh, okay. Ukraine did. Right. Mm-hmm. Stop water from flowing from point A to point B. Mm-hmm. And that pissed the Russians off because apparently the Russians have interest in water 
that wherever needs to, they needed it to uh, flow. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And the fact that, you know, Ukraine may potentially join NATO and they don't want to be on the border of NATO. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Russia doesn't want to be on, on, on the border of NATO. Mm-hmm. So that's the reason why they're fighting this war. So apparently Russia was not prepared for this battle. Apparently that Vladimir Putin didn't understand the status of his current day military. Mm. Uh, he didn't understand that there's a lot of corruption in his military. Mm. For example, tires on, I guess, machinery, you know, like tanks and uh, just transportation items to get uh, military supplies from point A to point B weren't taken care of properly. So apparently, uh, like, you have to turn these vehicles in order to preserve the tires. Mm-hmm. And the tires that they chose to to use on their vehicles are like cheap Chinese tires. So now they're like, you know, they're on the road and they got to stop because of a, a vehicle had a flat or it wasn't maintained properly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just like little <laughs> crazy like, shit like that. You think a, a modern day military would be well, oh, well so equipped. Well, well equipped. equipped. So you know what I'm saying? So unprofessional. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's not because the enemy fucking outfought you. It's because you didn't dumb shit change your oil. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Rotate your tires. Like shit. little, sh- like little shit like that. Mm-hmm. And that totally amazed me. I was like, wow. Yeah, but piss a black man off. Putin didn't understand <laughs> the corruption. <laughs> mm-hmm. So when you know you give money for them to buy new supplies, they'll buy. The cheap shit, or uh, the shit that that is not really uh, uh, well, yeah, the cheap shit, and they'll take the rest of the money and pocket it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's how his funds was trickled down into the military. So Ukraine is winning. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Are they gonna win? It looks like it. And you think Putin gonna die about that? Yeah. <laughs> or kill yourself. But, oh, okay. Oh, but you know what it is, though. Right. But, you know, I'm I'm not really sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that it just, it just amazed me. I think um, Putin too they really powerful just, f- to get murdered, honestly. I think he just, like, he on some um, right. cash roll type but shit. Right. Like Cuba. And, he, and he's backed in the wall, up against the wall. So he may use nukes. But the thing is, though, and that would be that could not start good. Some shit. Now, yeah, if he use if he used nukes, then that would be a war crime, and NATO will automatically get involved with it. So he, I don't think he would use nukes because he know if once he used that, you don't got to be involved in NATO because that's a problem. That's like Pandora's NATO, box right there. Like NATO can't do anything because they not with them yet. Right. But if they use a nuke. That's a war crime mm. because you basically doing some genocide type shit right. into, into another country and people like you, they gonna have well, to why respond. Why have them yeah. if you can't use them? Well, it's a just a case thing, right? So it, it goes in. We we have them. I don't think it goes more just in case than this, baby. Then once <laughs> now you, you have your different once, types. You have your different types of nukes, right? So he can use a tactical nuke. That's not as but deadly. Deadly. It's a smaller version. Of the but but, so it's like, but mm. once once other country find but out, once he uses it, something. it's like okay, you use the nuke, so we gotta retaliate. Now, how will the Western world retaliate? That's the, they, the do they, you send troops or do you send another nuke? And then the nukes may get bigger and bigger and bigger. Like Russia has the biggest nuke. Russia, they really, have the he, they have the biggest nuclear bomb. Russia have a huge military. That's why I'm shocked that they lose them because their military is like. But he just told if it's not better, if it's not if, if it's not bigger than the United States, then it's but definitely the second. Western like NATO, which is the United States, which is why Trump didn't want us in NATO. But NATO is supplying that war. Well, the United States is definitely well, the United in, States. inside that. Given, the United States yeah. is like ninety percent of NATO supplies and shit like that. Yeah, they've been sending but a lot Trump, of money to right, Ukraine. Right, tr- right. You send a lot of money to Ukraine, and mm-hmm. everybody like, well, fuck. What about now that? This? I what have about, seen. Right, right. What about this? What about that? A lot of money is going to Ukraine, and like not, and like ninety percent of that shit is like NATO. I mean, it's like the United States. And Trump was saying, like, bro, why are we even? Fucking around with this shit Like we gonna be the biggest and baddest 
then let's just be the biggest and baddest. And why, you know, why are we, why are these other militaries getting getting weaker? NATO is pretty much because they know that we're gonna back them up, like other well, countries and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Well, NATO is right. we starting to be, we starting to see them as like, yo, your military is getting weaker. Like the UK had the the biggest navy around at one point, and then like you look at the navy now, the navy now you like, what the fuck happened? Well, like what y'all doing? Mm-hmm. Where they got the under the umbrella of the NATO, NATO. Mm-hmm. which is ninety percent of the United States. So Trump was like, man, right. well, I don't even know why we fucking with y'all. Well, like, well, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got to think about this shit because I don't really like it. You know? Mm-hmm. Well, NATO it was put in place as a sort of a peace thing or whatever. So NATO was definitely some laws and rules to everybody to abide with. Um, basically, and it's like a almost like a treaty. Now you also have people that's not a part of NATO, which is China, Russia, um, some other stupid motherfuckers out there. I forgot the other countries. <laughs> <laughs> you you want to know? You want to know? Like Russia. a lot of countries. You want to know Russia, right. China, most of but, them. Right, but NATO is bigger than the people that's not in NATO. That's the thing. But that's like TC is is more because NATO of is the United much, States. In my opinion, NATO is pretty much the United States just kind of like guarding the these world. Certain, well, these certain these certain countries and well, shit like well, that. Well, you but well, United States Power have interests interest. everywhere. United States have interests. Power interests. and like like I mean countries like Ukraine coming in and uh uh, what you got? Like those those uh, Sweden and Norway, those neutral countries, mm-hmm. them coming in yeah, would right mean a way. lot and shit. Because it means a lot for trade and shit like that. And then you get to be like set embargoes and shit. Like, oh, I don't like this country. Let's set an embargo. And they don't get the shit that they need. Now they pissed and shit like that. I personally, I'm just not trying to fight nobody else war. But Ukraine used to be for Russia. We know. But then they broke off. There was the Soviet, Union. That was the when Soviet, Soviet Union. Union. Right. When it's the Soviet Union, that when that was broken up, but I feel like Putin want that shit back. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, he want that shit back. Yeah. He want those countries back. He want them countries back. He want one uh, one by one. But I think Ukraine is the people that give Poland, the, like Poland, the most is the trouble. country next to Ukraine. They like, man, we don't want them dudes next to us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Ukraine, they they move like more like they're more like Russia, but they're they want to become more like the West, like a liberal Russian. Right, you're right. They like got a lot of Russian traditional values so and like shit like that. Ukraine, Ukraine right? Yeah, yeah but they yeah, want to do be do. westernized too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They want do like, shit different. Do shit different too, and uh, mm-hmm. and like China and Russia, they don't want that shit on their borders. Mm-hmm. They don't want that. Like they don't want like Taiwan to be Taiwan because that shit is like right on their borders. They don't like Japan being close to them and shit like that. Mm-hmm. You know, they don't like South Korea being close to them and shit like that. They don't like that shit, you know? But yeah, that shit crazy, you know? Shout out to uh, to Ukraine. That shit crazy because, I don't know, I just don't like how they treated black people. You don't like how who treated them? Ukraine, on that, sh- on that shit, when they ain't want to let them black people get on uh, that, that uh, I guess that train. So that's why I never like, felt sorry for them. Yeah, I didn't like how that shit uh, do for like Ukraine and it just, I mean, I mean, I don't like how Ukraine did them black people, and just, it's just crazy to me, man. It's just sometimes you, you're just like, man, fuck them people. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs>